Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, the second first episode of the infamous walkthrough. The one you saw before was part zero epilogue, so... So anyway, we're going to do is show off the, uh... Where you need to go next, and this is going to be like a really shorter, maybe longer LP. I have wow. to do this a lot of times, that but... Anyway, we're going to get into the... Basically, to the dialogue of this game, which, believe it or not, is... The when you get the uh, chain, which is basically the chain you get to use and do me melee damage. This is where the game gets a lot more, more, more and more in combat. So, so anyway, if you guys are probably wondering. You guys, if you guys hear me with like my nose is all inflamed, that's because I'm having like, someone on cold, and it's probably because shorter LP than usual, but. I don't know. Here, it's been a game I really want to do in a lot, so it's over the best. Nelson. I was just trying to create a diversion. I didn't know anybody was in you here. You did this to me. You're a conduit. Uh. Betty, I'll explain later, but you got to get out of here now. Good, I'm gone. Not until you fix this first. I spend most of my life behind bars. It's easy enough to bust out. You just gotta wait for that golden opportunity. When I got my powers, hell, I was unstoppable. Until the DUP caught up with me. Yeah, they got a special hole they like to toss folks like me in. Figured out a way to bind us all up so we couldn't use our powers. That also meant they had to feed us, wash us, even wipe our goddamn asses. That's no way for a man to live. There's no way. They had this red-headed bitch there, really into needles and scalpels. She called what she did to me tests. But if you do enough time, you learn a few tricks. You just gotta be patient. Sooner or later, they'll screw up. They always do. You maybe see something or you hear something, learn things you weren't supposed to know. So when that bitch put the three of us in that wagon, I knew what was coming. A golden opportunity. I saw you poking around inside my head. It was me, I thought that was you. You saw it, right? That DUP prison. If she catches you, that's where you're going. Wait, wait, wait! So mainly, uh... The game gets a lot more intense in the whole game. But this game gets a cool part where you do the whole speed dash... Back speed dash more melee. One of the best games. One of the best parts of the game. But... Until... I'll show you guys some areas in the game you guys will like, like the Space Needle and all that. All the really good areas. This game, you learn out, this is also playing on easy difficulty, so it's a lot more how to play. And I was thinking playing this on the other mode, though, but I decided I might do that, but decided not to do that. And I have a horrible, horrible, horrible day. Horrible me to do that, because I was not ranged for that. Ain't got time. Day you face coming. And she knows I'm on to her plan. And takes a little while to knock them out. Pretty much just like a tutorial battle. So. This fire's only gonna buy two and uh, he's over there. Time. I gotta get now. Ain't going back to Curtin K. Yeah, well. Whoever's coming is coming for you, man, not me. Uh, oh, there you go. He's Hope over there. You. She's got a way of making people talk. Good luck. Oh, hell no. No way, I'm gonna die in a fish guttery. And swipe. <laughs> Another cutscene. Walk away. Nobody's ever gotta know about any of this. Wait a minute, stop it, talk about this. Oh, Henry. Poor Henry. I'm so very disappointed in you. Well, we got him, right? I uh flushed that. Very funny sounds of, of Troy Baker. <laughs> Bioterrorist. Henry Daughtry. I was a bioterrorist. Conduit. 
He's a word used by traitors who sympathize with their cause. You're not a traitor, are you? I, uh, I, I try not to be. <laughs> <laughs> you seem nervous. No, I'm not nervous. It's been my experience. There are only two reasons for people to be nervous. Either they're cowards, or they have something to hide. Well, you know, I was nervous around pretty girls. You were in there with that bioterrorist for some time. Did he share anything with you? Um, share? Did he say anything to you? Share any of his ramblings about conspiracies? Um, no, he didn't, he didn't share anything. Good. That's good to hear. You see, we are engaged in a life and death war with these bioterrorists, and it's my job to do whatever it takes to ensure that we win that war. What? Well, it's kind of funny because... <laughs> Aren't you a bioterrorist too? Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I am. Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. And it's clear now that you're not a coward, which means there's something that you're not telling me. Oh, what, are you, what are you doing? You can't do this, you crazy! I've got rights! And I have the legal authority to suspend those rights whenever I feel it's necessary. Like now, for instance, I'll ask again. What happened in there? And I will tell you again. I'm told that hurts. Maybe I know what happened in there! No! Betty, don't! So. Really? Still nothing. Well, unless you decide that you do have something to tell me, I'll go chat with that nice old lady. But you should know, concrete is especially hard on brittle bones. And if she doesn't talk, I'll just move on to the next one, and the next, until I find someone who does. So do you have something you want to tell me? Or do you prefer that I move on to your friends here? Oh boy. Where the game gets interesting, you got the evil, which means sacrifice the tribe and, you know, end players they just be infamous. Or turn yourself in, become a hero. You know, this is also cool because it also makes this kind of cool though. But you know what? I love to be hero. I love to make my people adore me and love me. We'll go hero. Always do. We always do hero. I'm a conduit. What? I said. It means you're fighting with. You're rich fighting with fire. I'm a conduit. All right. I caught it a second ago from from that guy. Oh, you caught it. Very funny. Ah! God. Tell him. So, Betty, maybe you can give me a straight answer. <laughs> yeah, I'm told that hurts. So, yeah, if you guys don't know, the whole thing about it is that uh, the game plays like the old games back in the good old days of playing FS1 and 2. You get a karma level being good or bad. Protector means you're almost becoming your first step becoming a hero. And the game gets a lot interesting when you do it, so it makes a lot of sense. Wake up.
So yeah, karma level is basically what it is. is that you do good things, you do good things, you get good karma, bad things, so you do bad karma. You can change between different areas, and also the game gets a lot more based on missions. I'll do all of them and show you where all to do. I will go back and forth between missions being good and bad this entire time. So for that, you, just get, you guys are getting the tutorial kind of like level around there. So it's where the game gets a lot more interesting the entire time. Did anyone do this? How many people did she hurt? You guys don't know who's the, the voice of him. It's Troy Baker who does the who does also the voice of him for the games Last of Us and also for the games of uh, um, God of War Extension, another good game I recommend getting, and uh, another game that came out recently was he also did a game with Bioshock Infinite. So if you guys don't know who he is, look him up on That's Google or whatever. You can find him. Awake. Pretty one of my one of my favorite so one of my favorite years, actors. Yeah, did you think I was gonna rat you out to that ornery trot? Besides, at the time it seemed like all the cool kids were getting their legs pierced. That means everyone here. We're a combs. Would protect our own. No one here blames you for what happened. Yeah. Neither should you. Can't be ashamed of what you are. Can't help it. You were born that way. All that matters is... I'm one of them now. You are not one of those beady-eyed bioterrorists who go around killing people higgly-piggly. You're a good boy. Just happen to have smoke coming out of your fingers. The reason we're in this is smoke coming out of my fingers. Hey, don't go down that road. If you're gonna be such a buzzkill, I'm gonna have to go back to sleep because I need my rest so that I can get better and get on my feet again. And I can rest now because you're awake. I'm gonna be fine. Really? Mm hmm. You see. Delson! <sighs> Damn it! I thought we were gonna lose you there. Concrete the legs? It's more than that. Oh. Glad to see fast healing seems to be a part of your new, uh, thing. Uh, speaking of which, um, the craziness with the hands, is that gone yet? Oh, man. There's no smoking in the lower mouths, remember? Right. I don't want to get in the way of anyone's recovery. Recovery? Nelson, these, these people aren't getting any better. We're dying, man. You don't know that. No, but the doctors who came through here when you were out, they do. And they said that... They said the only way those shards are coming out is the exact same way they went in. What? But that, that was Augustine and her concrete power. And screw it, man. Looks like you and me are going to Seattle and we're gonna go get her. Whoa, 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 wait, what? You think you're just gonna charm her into coming back here with you? Come on, man, I know you took a bump to the head, but you two didn't exactly hit it off last time you were together. Reggie. I did this. And I gotta fix it. No, damn it, Delson, you just got back on your feet. I know you want to help, but the doctors have already said the only, the only way it's getting out is with the same power. I get it. What do you mean? It's... We don't actually need Augustine. We just need her power. 
Yeah. All right, guys. I'll do okay, second cool. part. I'll be. I'll do this. Will be. This will be part two coming up in a little bit. So thanks for watching. I'll do more coming up when it does. Smoke. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day, and see you next next time what, what if for part two. Fluke, huh? Think about.